So we are going to have some help coming up today. Uh, Shakoy's folks are going to come up and help us raise the walls for the chicken coop. Uh, some of the walls are a little bit green, so they'll be a little heavy. But we also love having them up here, and they also love being up here and helping us. So we're going to get the walls set up. We're going to prep for that, and hopefully we get all the walls up today, and maybe even some rafters. Um, and then after that, it's just sheathing it up and putting a roof on it and a door. And they should be able to stay in there for the winter. So uh, we're going to get to it. As you might have seen, we had some help yesterday getting the frame of the chicken coop completed. Um, we're using a bunch of scrap plywood, OSB, chipboard, whatever you want to call it. We're using a bunch of that to sheath it, and we've started to put shingles on. So these are all hand split shingles that we've done with either a fro. Um, I'll link to a video how we do that here. And we've also had a friend's splitter handy because we've been splitting a lot of all this cedar so I've used the splitter to make some shingles too and that works out pretty well. Um, it's a little bit more expedient it's just not as um, I don't know precise I guess so uh, they still look fine um, so we're gonna be putting shingles on this whole thing uh, we were gonna put a window here and we decided against that um, for no particular reason other than it was just getting a little hard to kind of figure out a way to fix it in there without it looking without it like popping out or setting in because um, it didn't fit right between the studs it fit kind of 
you know, either on the outside or on the inside of the studs. So two windows is sufficient, I think. Um, yeah, it's not that big a deal. Maybe we'll put a window on the door. Maybe, maybe, we'll, maybe that window will go on the door. So here's the other side. It's just all still plywood right now, but um, it's getting there. So next step, now that we have it pretty much fully sheathed, is to try to get more sheathing on here. Pretty cool, we installed a little chicken door for them. Um, this is like an old piece of a gate or a door that we had hanging around. So that works pretty nicely. A little ramp for them to go in and out. Um, nice big window here for solar gain. Uh, once we have some more sheathing on here, we'll put some trim boards around this window and we want to paint those green as well as all the trim boards we have. We'll like, you know, probably put trim boards along the corners and stuff like that too. Um, so next step is to get a roof on it. We've got some scrap roofing right here that we plan on using. And we were planning on decking the roof too with um, OSB just so the, the roof doesn't condensate on them, uh, you know, and drip on them in the winter. So we'll see if that's going to happen too. I think that's probably the next step. Then we got to figure out a door and after that they can pretty much live in it. So we have all walls up and Michael's been hand splitting some shingles. These ones came out beautifully. You can tell cedar has nice straight grain. But yeah, it's getting done. We put hay in. It's roost up. It's starting to look a bit like a chicken coop. Um, we got some shingles on this side, a couple on the back side too. Uh, we've got a metal roof on it now. Um, we just still got to seal up a couple of uh, parts up here and down at the bottom and put a door on it. Uh, and then it's basically livable for chickens anyway. Uh, we're going to keep shingling them as shingling it as far as we can. Um, gonna, I mean, we've got like unlimited cedar to split. So we'll keep making shingles and we'll keep putting them up because we don't want to have a plywood structure hanging around because we just don't really like the look of it. It looks a little bit haggard right now, but... Um, all free, all used material. Right, I don't know if I heard you, so... Oh, I said all free and all used material. Right, so yeah, this, this has cost us zero dollars. Um, so that's pretty cool. Especially even cedar shakes. I mean, they're not all straight at the bottom. We kind of like the way they, you know, that looks anyway. So, uh, cedar shakes costs like sixty dollars a bundle, and a bundle only covers, I think, twenty-five square feet or something like that. So I don't know how many bundles we would have needed to do this, but uh, it's uh, we love the way they they look. We love the fact that it's cedar from our land. We're using indigenous materials, and uh, you know, all this was cut before anyway. It's not like we had to um, cut any of it down. It's the, the trouble is finding ideal pieces to use. But uh, it's even even then, it's still pretty straightforward. Um, yeah, so we're we're pretty happy with the way it's turning out, and we're gonna keep steaming away at it. And uh, yeah, it'll be done soon. We, like I said, we really just like the way the cedar shingles look. That's why I'm focusing on this. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. These there was a piece I was splitting with the uh, splitter, and they're coming out beautifully these two were part of that piece that one was part of it um that piece was part of it and the splitter ran out of gas so we got to go get some gas uh i have a fro splitting them but it's just so much quicker with the uh the shingle i mean the splitter so we got some roof stuff we want to turn this wall into uh laying boxes we're going to create something um that way they can lay properly Got two roosts up. This one goes all the way across. It was also uh, kind of helping to hold the structure together when before the roof went on. Um, there's a little roost right here too. Uh, and we put uh, we had an extra piece of foam board insulation, so we put that up on the roof, and hopefully they don't peck at it too much. Our experience with foam is chickens really love it. Um, they really love to eat it. So hopefully this being paper, they won't really know that it's foam. Um, that one will have to cover up somehow with tar paper or something. Uh, but for now, it's it's doing the purpose. They're not living up here yet. But I can totally see them, like, all perched up right here and being like, mmm, dinner, midnight snack. So, 
So we'll have to take care of that. Uh, hopefully they can sleep in here tonight though, because it's going to be 25 tonight, and the nights are just going to get cooler from there. So uh, it's kind of a rush to get them in here.